you know, when we made the trades and we brought in the new guys on the draft and, and we're going with Joe, I mean, all this stuff kind of happened at the same time and the powers that be wanted it to be a situation where we're going in a new youthful movement where people are going to be held accountable for the things they do. And uh, are we going to be better for it or worse? Who knows? But I know personally I'm completely on board with it. I was a huge advocate of having Joe come on and be our coach. And um, I know the guys in the locker room feel the exact same way I do. Catalino fires and scores. That's why they got him in a trade. Picked up from Rochester last year. Best shot in the score. Now leaves it back. Hunt fires and scores. Great set piece for the Bayhawks. Leads to another goal and it's now 10-4. Undorf lights up and just cranks in the back of the net. Long Island might be 0-2, but they are going to get a lot of pieces coming back uh, to this team. Guys who are in an NLL, guys in the collegiate ranks. I think that as this team and as this season goes along, they're going to get an awful lot better. And I think they're going to be one of those teams you have to worry about because at the end of the day, they have one of the better goalies in all of MLL. They have too much talent on this team to not all of a sudden start racking up some wins. Here early in the second quarter, and just like that, the Lizards go back in front. Matt Gibson, number 66. Locked at 20. And a score. Wow, what a quick trigger there by Siebel. Tracking some defenders. Langford right in front. And he tucks it in. Final 10 seconds. The inner side of the net. Trying to get it away and does. Bounce to the Adams had the save. And that will do it. Right down to the final seconds. But the celebration belongs to the Long Island Lizards and head coach Joe Spelina as they survive a furious attack by the Hounds in the closing seconds and get the win 10-9 here at Memorial Stadium in Charlotte. How did that get through to Gibson? What a fake by Catalino, steps in and there is a goalie alive who's going to stop that. I have two words, Jim Brown was in our locker room before the game. That got me fired up. It was like uh, seeing a legend, you know, it is seeing a legend, like seeing God walk into the locker room. It was unbelievable. What did he say in that speech to you guys? Top secret, bro, can't tell you. <laughs> oh, come on. Nah, it's going to carry us to the title, so if I tell you that, everybody else will know, so. Black tree, trying to get three again for a second. Empty pass in front, Young finishes, he scores, Ryan Young. Gonna win its third straight game. How about the Lizards? Gregulin will win the faceoff here. Take it right down the middle, and he'll score on a diving effort. And they come away with a very hard fought victory to win their fourth in a row. The offense has fallen off the tracks. But Mankin has not. Welcome to Major League Lacrosse, Will Mankin. Fake, 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 and Gibson makes it 11-8. With three, he's going to have to shoot. Gibson gets there, scores, does it count? It's a goal. Fifth straight victory by the Long Island Lizards. Well, they are so strong because they win the goaltending battle with Drew Adams, and they typically win the face-off battle with Greg Grenley. I think the X factor for them going forward, rookies. Matt Gibson, Tom Palasek, and CJ Costabile, the long stick midfielder. Can those guys continue to produce like they're producing right now, or will they hit the rookie wall? We'll see. On the move, Seaball scores! Max Seaball, the rip. Here is your best player in action. Friday, 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 Friday. He scores! How does he do? And the Rattlers have snapped Long Island's five game win streak. White works into score. And the Rochester Rattlers complete a weekend sweep of the Lizards. Now second move, spins and scores. On range, two-pointer for Max Seaball. That was a ball. Grenlian has a five-game point streak. You see the stick skills to go along with the face-off skills. Long range shot, Pizer, a two-pointer. Anderson return pass. And the rookie scores. Comes back to Gibson, the rookie out of Yale. Gibson charging in, he scores! Brian Langtry and company, an impressive victory as they moved 8-4 and, and keep things very interesting for the final four teams to make it the championship weekend. we got a great group here. Let's put a great show on, all right? Care about the guys in the huddle? Okay, and fight, all right? And fight. Let's go on three, win. One, two, three. Win. Seaball on the swim against Kimner. Beats Briggs, two. Gets held on the inside. Seaball still with it. Young, he scores! Off the split down. Fires and scores! Steven Kaiser gives him a great split down to score! A bullet shot coming from Tim Henderson. Denver, high.
Mike Power. Not today. Quick snap coming. Kevin Understein continues the roll for the Lizards. Long Island has a 7-1 lead. They were down 7-2 last week against Chesapeake. They came back and won the game. Jerry Walby Sparks. Keep it simple. Win the court. Win on three. One, two, three. Hey. Let's go, man. Let's go, Gang Green. Long Island, which appears to be playing much better than it did in the last month of the regular season. Seabald continues that trend and makes it 9-2. And now they're just going to try to strangle this game. Mike Unterstein scores! <laughs> the feed for Chris Bocklet, he scores! Bocklet gets a much needed one back for Denver. The most miraculous comeback that we've seen in playoff history. You're down 12-3 and you end the game on a 10-0 run. Unbelievable. Early on it looked good for us, but they stuck to their plan and it worked. They, they took us out of our game and you know, I think a bunch of us got a little tired towards the end and weren't able to have two slept to get it done.